Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we are going to learn case 2 in shortest distance. In the last video, we talked about skew lines and the distance, the minimum distance between them and that is called the shortest distance. But now the difference is one line will be given in symmetric form. Can you see? And the other line will be given as an intersection of two planes. Okay, I'll make you understand this with the graphics. So can you see this is one line and this is the second line. And when you look at the second line, you can actually see two planes. But it's not the two planes that they mean, but rather the intersection. Can you see that yellow line? Now we have to find the shortest distance between these two. Can you see? This is exactly what we are going to find. Anyway, at the end what we do is, we will find the shortest distance and also the intersection of two planes to be the answer. Can you see? This will be the answer. This is the shortest distance. And like I told you before, the shortest distance will be perpendicular to the two other lines. Okay, now let's go for the method. So what we do is, we go for a systematic method. Uh, the given equation, see, one is in symmetric form, one is the intersection of two planes. And if you want to understand the logic, you can go through the logic. But in exam time, it's better to go through the working rule. So, you have to understand the skew lines exist in parallel planes. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to create a plane through the line of intersection of the second one using the formula P1 plus lambda P2 equal to 0. And then we will find the distance between them and that will be the shortest distance. And finally, we will use another technique and find the line of shortest distance. Anyway, let's start with the problem. Okay, so I have kept two problems over here and this was asked last year in your exam. Okay, so let's do one of the problems. Let's do the first one. Okay, so what we do is we have to call this as equation number one. Okay, be ready with pen and paper. It's a long process. It's kind of like confusing now and then. So make sure you have a pen and paper with you. So this is equation number one. And this whole thing is equation number two. Because it's not two planes. It's an intersection of two planes, which is a line. Okay, so the first thing what we do is we will create a plane through the intersection of the two planes. So, please write, the plane through the intersection of two planes is given by 5x minus 2y minus 3z plus 6. I hope you remember the formula. Plus lambda multiplied by x minus 3y plus 2z minus 3 equal to 0. And now we will open the bracket and we will write it in the form 5 plus lambda multiplied by x plus minus 2 minus 3 lambda multiplied by y plus minus 3 plus 2 lambda multiplied by z plus 6 minus 3 lambda equal to 0. Okay, now what we are going to do is we are going to create this plane parallel to the other one. I'll show you that method. Can you see? So we are going to create a plane passing through the line that line and make sure it is parallel to the other line okay can you tell me what happens when a line and a plane are parallel the normal direction will be perpendicular so what we do is we go for the first line can you see the direction ratio 4 3 2 and we have the direction the normal direction of the plane 5 plus lambda minus 2 minus 3 lambda minus 3 plus 2 lambda and we take the dot product equated to 0 or we apply the formula a1 a2 so 4 into 5 plus lambda uh, plus 3 into minus 2 minus 3 lambda 
plus 2 multiplied by minus 3 plus 2 lambda equal to 0. Simplify, you will get lambda equal to 8. Okay. Let me make the first part very clear. One equation is given in symmetric form. Another equation is given as the intersection of two planes. So what we do is, we are going to create a new plane. P1 plus lambda P2 equal to 0. And then we will find the direction ratio in terms of lambda. We will use the direction ratio of the first line. Take dot product, you will get the value of lambda. One last time, given equation in symmetric form, given equation as the intersection of plane. Create a new plane, find the normal direction ratio, find the direction ratio of the line, find lambda using perpendicular condition. So, that is the first part. Now, we are ready to create the plane because we got the value of lambda. We can put it back here, 5 plus 8, minus 2 minus 24, minus 3 plus 16, 6 minus 3 into that and we get a plane. That plane is very important at the last. 13x minus 26y plus 13z minus 18 equal to 0. So this plane is super important. This is a plane. For those who want to understand the logic, I'll put it like this. This is a plane parallel to the line given in symmetric form. Now, all you have to do is find the distance between any point on this line and this plane. Okay, so that's like super easy. You just go back to the question and you can see the point. You know how to extract the point very easily from the numerator, right? 0, minus 1, 2. Okay, so now all I have to do is I have to find the distance between 0, minus 1, 2 and this plane. And how do you do that? So I am going to write shortest distance equal to plug this coordinate. So 13 multiplied by 0, 26 and minus 1 that will be plus 26, plus 26 minus 18, the whole divided by root under. Now do not look at the point, it is like 13 square plus minus 26 the whole square plus 13 square. So we get the shortest distance to be 34 divided by 13 root 6. It is a very small number. Even if you type it in the graphing tools, you may not be able to see it properly. Anyway, we found the shortest distance. So I hope till here it is so easy. So create the plane. I explained it two times. Now find the point from the symmetric form and find the distance. Now comes the tough part. And that is what it makes it very long. Now we need the equation of the shortest distance. Look. So once more I will show you. We are given two lines. One line as a line. That means in symmetric form. And one as the intersection of two planes. And I think you can see the intersection. The yellow line. Now what we are going to do is. We are going to create two planes. What are we going to do? We are going to create two planes whose intersection will be the shortest distance. Can you see? Okay. So now our job is to create two planes and we learn that part as a procedure. Okay. So the first plane. So you can write equation of shortest distance will be given as the intersection of two planes. By the way, whenever you write your answer as the intersection of two planes, the answers will not be unique. You can create the same line by intersecting different different planes. So don't expect your pair of answer might match with another pair of answer which they do with another method. Okay, so the first one is like super easy. You take the numerator of the line in symmetric form. So I will show you the line. X, Y plus 1, Z minus 2. Then the denominator 4, 3, 2. And then the direction ratio of the newly created line. Can you see? The direction ratio of the newly created plane. Not line. Plane. It is 13 minus 26, 13. 
and if you reduce it it will become 1 minus 2 1 if you want you can keep it like 13 minus 26 13 but the determinant will become large so i'll keep it like 1 minus 2 1 if you once more if you want you can keep it 13 minus 26 13 13 will come common and since it is equal to 0 that 13 will get cancelled anyway you expand this determinant x multiplied by 3 plus 4 that will be 7 etc etc i got the answer as 7x minus 2y minus 11z plus 20 equal to 0 so we created plane 1 once more we are looking for the equation of shortest distance and we are going to write the shortest distance as the intersection of two planes and calculation of the first plane is not too bad but it's a little bit long now we are going for the second plane okay now for the second plane we again use the same equation can you see this same equation we used here but we will use another alphabet so that you don't get confused so I'm going to copy that part so look at this for the second equation I'll use the same stuff that you wrote early but let me put mu um, just to make it look different and this will reduce to come on we already have that equation um, I'll do it once more 5 plus mu earlier we wrote lambda plus minus 2 minus 3 mu and plus minus 3 plus 2 mu and the last one 6 minus 3 mu is equal to 0 so all we need to do is we define mu and that's it that's the end and for that we use this direction ratio 5 plus mu minus 2 minus 3 mu minus 3 plus 2 mu and take the dot product dot product means that a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 condition i told you this is going to be a superhero and we take the direction ratio do you remember we took the direction ratio for the determinant also so i'll use the same direction ratio once more if you want you can keep it 13 minus 26 13 but i'm not going to do that because direction ratio means we can put it in the simplest form so i'll put it as 1 minus 2 1 is equal to 0 and that gives me 1 multiplied by 5 plus mu uh, minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 minus 3 mu plus 1 multiplied by minus 3 plus 2 mu is equal to 0 anyway I got the value mu is equal to minus 2 by 3 and I did rough work you can plug this back here or here as you wish and I got the equation to be 13x minus 13z plus 24 equal to 0 so I wanted to confirm this answer so look at this the shortest distance is given by the intersection of plane number 1 and plane number 2 okay now let's make the method more clear but this time I'll give you hint and I want you to try it and it will be nice if you can comment below the answers so can you see one equation is in symmetric form and the second equation is given as the intersection of planes now I'm not going to show you the graphics so you can understand that so what will we do first okay we are going to create a plane and what will be that plane 2x minus 3y plus 27 plus lambda multiplied by 2y minus z plus 20 equal to 0 those who want to understand the logic understand like this we are trying to create a plane parallel to this line so that the distance from any point on this line to this plane will be the shortest distance okay so you can simplify and i got the value of lambda to be 3 check it double check it okay so we got the plane to be 2x plus 3y minus 3z plus 87 equal to 0 and now what will we do yeah we will collect a coordinate from line 1 that is 3 8 3 and find the distance and the distance is 108 divided by come on comment below what is that I'm not writing the number over here you can comment below now uh, the distance is done now we need shortest distance but remember we are not going to write the shortest distance line the equation like symmetric form we are going to put it like this 
So we need to construct two planes P1 and P2 and don't forget this is a superhero. So how do you do that? Construction of plane 1 is super easy. Determinant x minus 3, y minus 8, z minus 3 and the denominator 3 minus 1, 1 and 2, 3 minus 3 equal to 0 expanded. And plane 2, we will use the same stuff, this plus this into lambda equal to 0. Maybe you will use mu. And you will get, um, yeah, it's a fractional value that I got for mu. So, it will be nice if you comment below whether you are able to find the answer or not. So, I'll be back with another video. So, till then my friends, bye.